All right, well, you guys are sitting at our signature table. This is where one of our most popular meals is made. It's our, our braided bread, and we change the braided bread each month that is out. This month is uh, the chicken and pesto braided bread. And mm. so if you guys throw some flour down there and take your bread dough and start rolling it out, we'll get set. Okay. That's perfect. Don't be shy when you spread it out. Don't be dainty. We'll clean up whatever oh, mess yeah. you make. Do, 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 do. So once you got that down, each one of you will take two loaves of bread and just kind of push them together. Okay. Yep, perfect. Smash them out, just kind of smash them together and pull them out. You're not smashing together. We're going to try and make it about the same size as that big tub there with the chicken in it. Sure. Go ahead and roll it down, flip it around in the, the dough a little bit. And Courtney, if you can, once you get that done, if you can hand the, the rolling pins, pull, don't, don't hit anybody with them, but just hand them down the line there. Don't hit hard. There are days. Now this is one that, uh, you know, we usually encourage you to kind of work out, stretch out a little bit. You're going to get a workout here. All right, so all the frustration you guys have with your kids, you can take it out right now on the dough here. <laughs> dough! <laughs> You got what on your algebra test? The corner. <laughs> That's right. Keely, are you Swedish? Yes. You should be doing Swedish Chef. Or do we even do it? Oh, <laughs> Just go ahead and get. Yep. Go ahead, get in there. Roll it. Roll it this way. Roll. Oh, yep. Wah, there you wah. go. Big rolls. Two big rolls. Flip your dough over once. You know what I'm thinking? I'm valedictorian of the dough rolling. Yep. There you go. Yeah, you oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had bacon. New in town. When I grow up, I'm gonna be able to roll and then just roll this <laughs> kind of towards you, just the center part there. Yep. Are yep. we good now? Good. Yep. I think we can make that work. <sighs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm kind of sweating now a little bit. Okay. Now, now what do we do? Okay. Now you're gonna take your bowls with your filling. Ooh. You're gonna spread it right down the middle. Leave it about an inch from the end, and then right down the middle. Well, no, no, I haven't done this before. Okay. A for effort. Okay. okay. All right. So Courtney's coming back. She started off rolling dough a little bit uh, crazy, but now she's got her filling down. She's Starting making a surge. Good. good surge, Court. All right. So now the next step, now that you've got your filling on there, is we're going to put the mushrooms and the sun-dried tomatoes on. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to add them. That's I'm one opting of the out of mushrooms. We are no mushroom family. Okay, yeah. you can have my share. So why don't of we mushrooms. start it down here and? Yeah, I'll I'll do these guys here. So so about two tablespoons of that. And just sprinkle them on there. Indeed. No thanks. More for you. I still have the color the color pow going on though. With the, right now we got some Christmassy looking going on. Yep. All right, so Courtney, if you'll take the pastry knives and just hand them out gently again. Scalpel. Sonia's, Sonia's getting a little crazy. Scalpel. All right, so what you're going to want to do at the ends is cut like a little 45 degree angle on both ends. And then as you work down the sides, you're going to cut about an inch and a half apart perpendicular to your filling. That had math. <laughs> there was math. <laughs> 45 degree angle and perpendicular. I'll show you with Courtney's piece here, is on both ends, you're going to make a little angle cut. Ah. And then down, you're going to just cut about inch and a half apart. Don't go oh. too close to the filling. I want to get it all matchy-matchy before I get Don't too get too close crazy. to the filling, otherwise it'll leak out. Oh, I'm going to have there, leaking. Keely. Oh, a little bit of leaking. Yep, straight with the filling. Yep. We'll make it work. Okay. Look at the concentration. I might have a, you know, this is surgery. Just pure here. focus. Total. Look it, I've got a pastry cutter. I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. Join us after the break on Metro Woman. Today on Metro Woman, we're almost done with our braided bread. All that's left to do is braid it. Stuff. 
and you can kind of tie those pins, just kind of tie them over. Fold them underneath. Fantastic. And then, son, you got the pans down there, so if you grab your three pans. Oh, these guys. Hand them out, spray the bottoms of the pans. Frickin' frack. <laughs> okay. Now just kind of right. squish them down before you pick them up. Squish them down. Oh, squish? Yep. Well, squish squeeze them. them together so it makes it a little bit shorter, and then you're going to pick them up and put them in your pan. Okay. Oh, we have, oh boy. Boy, I'm having some technical difficulties. Hang on. Hang on, wait a minute. Take one more. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all kinds of crazy here. Don't be afraid I need a drum roll. It. There we go. Oh, crud. All right, so I'm repairing it after after moving. So I think our last step is to take the oil, and you're just going to paint a little bit of oil on the top of your braided bread. And then this helps it create that golden brown look when you throw it in the oven. Nice. It's going to look even more delicious. That's right. There you go. You're right. Courtney's is not near the train wreck that was just a It started bit out. Ago. It looked a little bit scary, but... You have your opportunity to come back and... Now that all our dishes are prepared, it's time to dig in. Well, Katie and Matt, thank you so much for teaching us a lot today. We really enjoyed it. We can hardly wait to get eating. This has been a great show idea here at Super Suppers. I had all of my friends bugging me, that's why I had to bring two of them along, about doing a show like this where busy families have a place to go make healthy food. If you have any show ideas, please visit our website, www.metrowoman.tv, and let us know what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.